Look at that. The Jade Saber. Smooth land. Yeah. Yes. I'm in the game and I'm. It's Hello, everybody. Oh, wow. Was I it? might lose mine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm now uh, 400 meters in the air with the buggy. <laughs> Yee <-hee. laughs> Opa, 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 opa. Yeah. It's like that we recover. Oui. Un crate qui arrive. Tout le monde est parti là um, Let's see, how high are you uh... Flight assist off.
Yo, what up everybody? 07. Let me do a mic check. Yep, we're running. So, Orion Expedition. We're um We're joining it. And uh today I'm spending time here at Waypoint 2. And the first ship uh the first ships have just arrived. And uh, I thought, yeah, let's go out and see what other commanders are uh, flying. Uh, as for myself, there's my Anaconda. That's, this is the one I uh, bought and uh, used on Distant Worlds 2. So, uh, up here we have another Anaconda. Seems like a fine choice by me. Looking good. It's nameless. Doesn't have any decals on it. But it does have a... Uh, the skin. <clears throat> Alright, so let's have a look around us. We have a DDX. Yeah, I saw pictures of this commander uh, coming on to uh, Discord. Diamondback Explorer, you gotta love it. Awesome. Yeah, we got a call sign Explorer. We know that because of the six letter maximum. And he decided to also name his ship Explorer. Nice, nice. Alright, let's uh, drive up a bit. Let's see what the other commander has. Oh, looks like a crate phantom. Oh, whoa, look at that. And there's another, whoa, anaconda setting by. Let's have a look. Look at that. The Jade Saber. Smooth landing. Very nice uh, paint job as well. And uh, there we go. There's the uh, Great Phantom. Look at that. Wow. What logo is on there? Look at that decal. Oh, wow. I want it. Awesome. One job. So we also did the Scourge. That CGI also put participated in and uh, what we have here the Golconda yeah I did that one as well all right commander so uh, that's what I wanted to show you real quick let me zoom out this is the Orion expedition fleet PlayStation 4 and uh, I just got in and uh, I'm gonna prep some more stuff uh, check on discord and I'll be uh, back with you guys very soon so okay Got the party going, I hope. Hey, good evening. Hey. How are you doing, Commanders? Yeah, awesome. Was waiting for this day uh, already for a few days, so uh, happy that it's now here. And what a turn up! Nice one. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, I'm watching everybody's paint job. Uh, everybody's like uh, colors looking nice. Yeah, two great phantoms I saw. Yeah, always uh, nice to see that one.
yeah I'm uh, capturing this then I have some uh, video material uh, uh, after this meet and then uh, kind of keep on filming as we go but nothing serious <clears throat> It's the uh, um, the second actually. Uh, this the Worlds two was the first one, and uh, I was like around yeah six months I believe, so it was quite a serious one. Oh wow, nice! And um, what made you decide? Oh. Hello. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Fine, you new. <laughs> yeah, sort of. <laughs> to this expedition, yes, yes. Yes, yeah, good. I'm French. I have uh, two person with me, a French guy. Oh, nice. He in, uh, yes, he come, uh, Valley, come, uh, same day Valley and uh, same day Valkyr. Yeah, Valley, yeah, I just saw editor as well. We are in the, in the, the, the waypoint. Waypoint you. three, yeah. Yes. And also uh, this. Uh, no, no. Waypoint uh, uh, one. Uh, yeah, but it's what system name have you got? Flig 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 Dai H Z Tire A B Forty Five Tire. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the that's the good one. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, yes, the number one, I see. Yeah, of exactly. Uh, uh, yes, the second. Yes, the second. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah at least you would have had a uh, nice uh, sun at uh, what is it? Nice star at Beetlejuice Waypoint One. Yes, but uh, yes, this is uh, the the start point. Yes, I know. Yeah. Hello. Ah, Mr. Valky. Hello, welcome. How are you, Vali? Uh, oui, yes. <laughs> nice. Um, Papi, il a reçu une. Uh, you have une invite, uh, the, the invitation. Bah, c'est bon, c'est bon, c'est bon, il est arrivé. C'est bon. Okay. 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 Hello, I just joined. Hello. Hey, hello. How bon, are you doing? Je vais décoller de ton vaisseau, je vais... Ah. Yeah, we should yes, do that. Yes, I am, I am make it. T yeah. I am uh, just above the planet. Je peux te poser encore plus près, papy, de moi. Logging in right now. And then I should be able to... Hopefully, non. come down on someone's wing. I'm gonna see if I can join Crazy Gamers. Yes. Faire un écart. Copy. We can always send out a wing invite, for sure. It's me, Crazy Gamers. <laughs> Attends, je vais un peu. Hop là. Pour l'instant, hein. PlayStation did not like that, so I'll probably have to turn my wing beacon on and get a, a wing invite. No, I don't know what hour will be the decollage. Oh, um. It's 8 hours. It's 8 hours. The, the time bah, of. Ouais, mais... uh, the time for, 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 for the go. Yeah, for the mass jump, um, I was thinking we could do that, for instance, uh, in half an hour, so that's 19.30 in game time. Uh, 19.30, ok. Vers 9h, vers 9h sur le uh, heure du jeu, quoi. Non, c'est... Uh... Ah, 7.30, yeah. ok. 0730. Ok. Ah, voilà! Ah, oui. C'est là quelqu'un qui arrive à parler français, parce qu'en nous, avec l'anglais. Oui, oui. Uh, we speak not very good English. Ah, uh, no problem, oh, no sorry. problem. It's... 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Oh wow, I'll let you guys translate uh, for me, because my Google Translate won't work on my... It's on PGL. Ils sont plusieurs. Vous êtes en rendez-vous en vocal. Allez, ah, on est posé. Hey, mais on est combien Ok, là, on voit. Bien, hein Yes I'm Hop là. in the game and I'm. Hello, everybody. Oh wow, Where's I might it? lose mine. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm now uh, 400 meters in the air with the buggy. <laughs> Yee <-hee. laughs> Opa, 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 opa. Yeah. C'est comme ça qu'on se récupère. <laughs> uh, oh, somewhere in front of the um, ships. Yeah. Putain, oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Now I have to find back all of you guys. Mr. Valley. Oh, tiens, ça m'intéresse ça. Ok, I'm coming over. Qu'est-ce qui t'intéresse Alright, um, I'm ready ah, to. Ah, ça a pas marché, je suis trop près des vaisseaux. I'm ready to come in for a landing, guys. Someone send me a wing. I can do, who is this for the wing request For no fear. Check, coming up. No, no. Let's see if I can send a wing invite from the uh, buggy. Okay, yeah, wing invite going. sent. Perfect, and I'll turn on my wing beacon. Ah, je l'ai loupé celui-là. Tiens, tu crois Le geyser Ouais Now I need to make you... Une pousse dedans, mais c'est salaud Je suis bloqué. Il y a un vaisseau qui, a, qui est posé trop près, on peut pas décoller sur le désert. C'est le tien. C'est le tien, Vali, qui est trop près. T'es sûr Ou c'est peut-être le mien, remarque. Oh wow, I ouais, really ça, ça dépend d'où tu viens, merde. Ouais. Bah, moi, je, viens, je me mets directement dessus et je... Et je peux pas vous booster quoi. Aïe <rire> Vas-y boost Non hein Ouais, y'a un vaisseau qui. Ouais, qui empêche de, de booster. Ouais. C'est le mien je pense. Ouais, faut que tu le recules. Je le recule. Wow, finally I'm back after a thousand kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have one commander coming in, no fear. You're still in the super cruise. I am still in super cruise and I'm just lining myself up for a, a nice soft glide in on Spike. Awesome. I am on the wrong side of the planet, so I have to fly around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we still have time enough.
and my auto automatic food dispenser made a nice meal for me to enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I will follow after the meal. <laughs> Cappuccino. Oh, I mean, I, I just just drink uh, uh, brandy. This is oh. the, the yeah, it's because this is the team drink. You know, the Galaxy Express team uh, drink. Yes. Oh, guys, <laughs> drink a brandy. You know. Nice. It's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, it's good for the exploration because. Uh, uh, <laughs> C'est bon papillon, Paul. You know. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, awesome. All right. Ah merde, j'ai pas fait le boost. Bah, je vais te dire. I actually heard that uh, Gal X non, lost a shipment of brandy near Colonia. Yeah, like one of the commanders uh, he was exploring with a uh, few Gal X members, and then his he was either destroyed by the NPC who scanned him, and he was AFK away from keyboard. Ah, that's bon, we boost it Ah, so a lot of good brandy got lost that day. <laughs> <laughs> Il a disparu, Geyser Non, mais il est tout petit. Ouais, il est devenu tout petit. Mm. Ouais, il est plus ouais, là. Il est... Ouais, il s'éteint ouais. là. Il s'éteint. Alright, coming in on the. Get ready to glide. Coming in on a 15 degree angle. Ouais, il s'éteint. Il a plus de puissance. It's finished. This Geyser was with uh, hand. No, no puissance. So, uh, who were the new guys that haven't done the exploring very much? That's... I just just wanted to say... Wait. So... I hope that you've discovered lots of good things on the way out here. What? I, I've got like at least five water worlds that have been undiscovered that I've wow. got. Yeah, I have to say, uh, except the water worlds, I've also uh, been lucky around codex locations, just being yes. curious. Yeah. Uh, Quelqu'un parmi parmi vous, les personnes anglaises là, qui ont été visitées, là, il y a quelqu'un qui a été dans la nébuleuse euh, pré hippo et qui a découvert le site gardien. Parce qu'il y a des gens apparemment, euh, Vin Vincent a découvert apparemment, je crois, le, les six derniers, je crois c'est Vincent ou euh, qui a posté sur euh, Discord. Et j'ai cherché, j'ai pas trouvé. Enfin, on a cherché à trois, on n'a pas trouvé. T'as pas exploré euh, sur le trajet Ah d'accord. Ok. Ça fait par euh, les routes à neutrons. T'as pris les neutron road. Ah t'as fait en tradition combien de sauts Oh. <rire> oh. Oui oui oui. Mais t'as joué. Tous les soirs tu fais. Combien, combien de temps par euh, de jeu par jour Ouais. Ah. Mmh. Il y a un crate qui arrive. 7000 Il mm. y a un crate euh, au-dessus de Il y a 7000 euh, pour le prochain waypoint. Il yeah. ouais. y a... Oui, on arrive... Mm. Ouais. On arrive sur une géante gazeuse verte, apparemment. Ah bon Ouais. Yes. This is a... Uh, uh, prochain waypoint, ouais, c'est ça. Uh, green green uh, gazeuse. Giant. Il y, a, il y a déjà eu des postes, il y a des gens qui sont déjà allés euh, là-bas. Il fait le crate. Yeah, that's commander no fear. 
He's coming in. Agree. I got I got a, a spot right here that I'm blue on. Yeah, you're looking good. Ça s'est posé juste. Je l'ai entendu se poser. Vous allez jouer de moi. Thank you. Thank Let's have a look at that crate. Nice skin. Yeah. Beautiful. When when I'm on my uh, VR headset, I like. Do a backflip back 180 and then touch right down <laughs> on the spot. Oh, nice. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's also so, so very convenient to be sitting in the front of the ship. Uh, the crazy. the crate is a beautiful ship to fly in VR. Yeah, I know. The game on back too. <laughs> So I'm hoping I, that's going to be one of the big announcements with uh, the next version of Elite Dangerous in the PlayStation 5 is having mm. the VR support. Oh, I really hope so. That would be a new reason for me to uh, buy a console. Maybe me, I want to, to go to a PC, PC uh, game. Yeah, I've been thinking about that too, but... Um... It, it's 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 a lot of money to invest and keep that system up to date. Yes, it's a big investment. Investment, but uh, you have more possibility in the, the PC. I agree. Yeah, oh, definitely. I'm jealous about all the uh, yes. plugins they run. You you you. If you want to change your your joystick, you know your 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 otas, you have not possibility in, uh, yeah. on uh, PS. You know. Yeah. I've mm -hmm. gone through two of those piece of shit Thrustmaster T Fly yeah. passes on the PlayStation 4, and I just don't want to spend any more money on one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I, just, I break them. It's not I good them. because one year I have my my joystick uh, one years, but uh, uh, if I don't don't encourage my joystick, the 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 ship uh, turn around, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mine is also off center. Dead zones are up. You, you can only use half of the joystick, actually. Yeah, it's. Uh, so it's the a way, the, the the last error I had on mine, because I've taken it apart and I've like re-engineered some of the parts on it, but the sensors themselves now, my throttle sensor jitters, so it's always moving forward or backwards. It's never stopped. And when you're trying to like do mass jumps and align next to the person next to you. But then you're slowly like inching forward and bumping things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it just wasn't working out for me anymore. Oh, exactly. But one thing you can't do on a controller that you can do on the Hotas is you can you can yaw, pitch, and rotate all at the same time. Mm -hmm. So that's when you're doing that flipping around and coming in for a landing like that. You can't you can't do the yar and rotate at the same time. No, oh, interesting. I'm just messing with my driving thing. I got to find a jump button because my right now my jump button isn't working. I can't jump. Roll, Roll axis. You can what only jump it? from Vertical the axis? uh Navigational Vertical menu. Thrusters. <clears throat> Vertical thrusters and roll pick. L3. That seems to work. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, I'm flying. <laughs> so now we're going to do this. Ready? Point. Sorry. Hey. Oh. <laughs> back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Je suis bloqué. Uh, attends, sorry. Oh, oh, ah. 
Punch. <laughs> okay, my flying skills are way better than my driving skills, apparently. It's a low, it's a low gravity ice world, so come on, give yourself some slack. Here we go. This is where I, I like having a throttle as a throttle and not using button presses in 10% increments. Mm. And it didn't jump. Why didn't it jump? Up is not jump. <laughs> This is acting very strangely where it's not jumping. I am not sure what's up with this. It would just jump fine when I was standing still, but now I'm moving forward and it doesn't want to jump. Uh, maybe uh, you're in close proximity to a ship or something. Well, that's my point. I want to jump on my ship. I'd like to do that. It's yeah. Fun for me. Usually you have to do jumping it. Again. Oh, I'm actually stuck in the menu between the uh, in the loading screen between the uh, SRV and the uh, ship. T'as plus le bouclier? Si. Ah non. C'est pour ça que je trouvais bizarre aussi, ça bougeait plus euh, tantôt. Ah, there we go. Good run at it. Here we go. Are we still all cool with the uh, mass jump at 1930? Yes. Oh, we probably should Perfect. get going pretty soon. Yeah, I'll give the uh, five minute announcement now. Donc, pour qu'on embarque. Ah ouais. Dans cinq minutes, on va décoller. On va se préparer. And uh, what is your coordinate for, for the jump? Uh, I've just posted it in local chat. I'm not sure if you can see local chat. J'ai pas compris là. Dans le chat. Lo local. Yeah. Ah oui, F E B. Euh... Ok, ça marche. Ça marche. Ça marche. Ah, ouais. Mieux que nous en tout cas. This is strange. This is part of the update, I think. That your that your buggy cannot jump anymore. Yeah. B B I can't jump when I'm near a ship. I keep getting the message now. Uh, I've Look. always had it that you need to kind of, you know, just drive full speed at a ship. Then you use your thrusters and then. Suddenly they cut midair because you're too close to a uh, landed ship. But if a ship is yep. floating, then you can definitely jump on to it. That's no problem. I always jump on my ship. Hmm. I actually got um, Commander Keen. Uh, he was uh, Buzz Lightyear. When we were doing the... Uh, he was on the Distant Worlds 2 and showed us all how to do the mining. When the mining yeah. came out. And then he came on us with us on the Apollo expedition. And we got to a site early, and he was uh, recording live streaming. And I was on my ship, and I'm like, I wonder what happens if I dismiss my ship while I'm on my ship. And he got it on video. <laughs> wow. So, <laughs> it launched me up, and then it pitched forward, and I drove off the end of it. And I dropped down probably over a thousand kilometers. Nice. And I hit my thrusters right before I hit the ground and stuck the landing. Wow! <laughs> That's so cool. He was laughing the entire time. Yeah, because it's so so hard to keep that thing on uh, the ship. It's quite an it achievement, is. always. And I don't recommend doing it. <laughs> because it kind of <laughs> caught me by surprise at how fast everything kind of happens. Yeah. Well, during Distant Worlds 2, I was actually involved in a 25-minute uh, retrieve the buggy from a canyon operation. And oh, you were guys that you guys started the um, the hull. Was it the 
Not the whole seals. There's another group. That no, no, you. no. Yeah, not me. No, but um, I was kind of like um, adopting the motto at that time because I, that's also how I set out on Distant Worlds too to have kind of that kind of a role. And uh, one of the guys during uh, mining at the Omega mining operation, he uh, got yeah his SRV stuck in a canyon. Papi, is still on vessel? Okay, guys. I'm All already. Right, what's uh, the system? It's. I'll post it up again. It's, uh, it the should be already. PS4 in... matters or? No, it's in the local chat. chat. In the local, local chat. chat. Right, yeah. But I'll uh, drop it in anyway. I've already cleared the mass lock and I'm uh, standing by. This is full of you. And it's a system well, you can select from your uh, navigation panel. So uh, this system, yeah? Yeah, I'm standing by. Um, let's see, how high are you, uh, Currently, Derek, is it Derek um, de Jones? How do you say yeah, that? Yeah, just, just Derek is, is fine, uh, Derek is Derek my is uh, first name. And, um, nice I'm, to meet you, Derek. Nice to meet you. I'm uh, 2.5 kilometers up, so free of mass lock. Okay. Walker, you there? And look at your control panel, the system that you're pointed to, and yeah. give us, give us the, um, the, the light right. seconds away it is. I have it at 12.6 light years. 12.6 light years. All right, so that's like the fourth, the fifth one, sixth one down. All right. So we have to align all together, right? That's a good way that we describe, um, so we're all pointing to the same kind of local system. Yeah. And uh, I propose that we um, charge our FSD and then we um, engage it at 35. I see one ship flying off. Not sure who that is. I can't target them anymore. Yeah, and I'm not sure if uh, anybody can translate that uh, to the French party that we charge the FSD, but we. Uh... Okay. Okay. C'est quoi le nom déjà? FE. Tu fais comment pour euh, parce que là si tu il faut pas appuyer sur tu en direct juste pour faire le chargement. Ah oui oui, on se met en hyper navigation et après um... on partira ah ouais d'accord. I'm currently mass locked. Yeah, that should... I think we have to go a little higher. Alright, I'll try to get over. Maybe I'm too close to the canyon wall. I'll try to get over closer here. What? Uh, oh, I guess I'm locked. Alright, I'm charging. But the system is there. Voilà. Après c'est F E. Non E. 
Um, give them the light seconds, uh, light years it is. Uh, the system yes. is... Uh. You charge... Uh, le... B. I think it was like 12.6 light second, light years. Plus loin, B45-0. Yeah, correct. That's just an easy way of describing these long complex system names. Mm. And surtout, t'accélères pas, quoi, à fond, pour pas partir. Si t'as activé ton FSD. Ok, si, si, on... <coughs> moi je suis aligné. Avec euh, j'ai deux vaisseaux alignés. Euh... 19, 18, 17, 15, 15, 14, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1, go! Ah, il a pas chargé assez vite, j'étais trop près des autres. Hmm. Ouais, c'est un foiré mon truc. Wow. Pourquoi il charge Allez. pas mon FSD là Je sais pas. Il charge pas J'ai un bug. Beautiful <rire> I had the whole uh, Here the fireworks. Yes It doesn't uh, work It doesn't work my FSD No way ah. Here comes the uh. fireworks. Because uh, I, uh, 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 I have a factor um, of, of gravity. Oh, mass lock. Oh. <clears throat> Here's the fireworks. I had the whole canyon wall glitching during my jump. <laughs> yes, amazing. I saw the whole canyon wall. I went right through it. Yeah. What was that? Another step in the journey. All right. I'm doing an FSD scan. Do you want to be? All right. Let's see if we can find some place cool here. Oh, there's 25 bodies. <clears throat> wow. Rocky World. See if I can find the way in the board. Oh, there's a geological. Just got another one. Icy body. I'm going to target it. I'm gonna just go right there and it's uh A2. Glacé, rocheux, rocheux, glacé. No, not very good this this world. Maybe. Jerry is not landable. Crap. Actually, let me fly away from the star. I'm still in fuel scoop mode. What do we got here? What do we got here? Wall bodies. T'es parti, eh, Vali? Non, non, j'ai fait. J'ai oublié de fait... faire le VR1. <rire> <rire> ah, <rire> bah oui. C'est quoi le prochain waypoint? Euh. B45-3 
Non, non, ouais, ouais, c'est en haut dans, dans le chat du jeu. Hmm. Euh, merde, je me souviens plus, c'était quoi déjà B45-3. Ouais, c'est dans... en haut. Non, bah non, ça c'est le point qu'on est parti. C'est le point où on est parti là Bah oui, on était, euh, était là-bas, t'as. Ah oui. C'est quoi le prochain waypoint alors Ils sont pire... ils sont partis tous Non. Ok. Bah je sais pas, on n'entend plus personne dans le... dans le chat. Ah Je le disais bien hein. <rire> Tu reçois euh, Vacure la l'invitation que je t'envoie dans le scanner I'm just scanning the whole system looking to see if we could find another place to land. It has geological sites or something. I am. I want to play with my buggy. I was late to the party. That's what you can always call me. Call me late to the party. But I wanted to watch the SpaceX um, abort video. Um, yeah, what about I, that? Uh, it, went, it went off spectacularly, and I only saw our picture because um, I watched the regular SpaceX stream just now yeah. before this. But I have a friend that I met through NASA at a NASA gathering that we went to that last year. Um, he was actually on one of the boats that they allow out in the ocean. And he yeah. got a, a beautiful picture that he posted on Facebook that I saw of the the um, the booster exploding. Oh wow! Like, um, and he's got a video of it that he's uploading on the YouTube. It's there, but I haven't found it yet. His name is uh, Brendan Wynn, and he um, he has a website. Uh, Let's see. Updates, updates, updates. Imagine that we're playing here with virtual ships, and he's just looking at real spaceships. <laughs> yeah. I did not. Um, I do want to do one because I was late, so I didn't have time to organize it. But I want to take a different kind of video. Um, where I want everyone to be coming, I want to be at the jump point, the point that your ship engages the FDS drive and jumps, so you get that flash, and I want everybody to come at me. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and like we, all jump past me and around me. Then we actually have to, uh, let's say, do a test and then see uh, yeah. what distance it happens, so you have a reference. So, yep, someone will have to leave and come back, and then I'll put myself at that point. Oh, that's that sounds nice. That could be in a very cool video. We can do that the next time because uh, SLG um, didn't make it today, and I'd like him to be involved. Sure. Ah, I have looked the the video the the starting uh, at Delta Gears it was beautiful. You know, I have to I have to give it out to the the French too because on the distant worlds, um, when they were capturing all these PC videos and stuff like that, um, the French won the award for the most organized, where they had like 32 ships all perfectly aligned and they all jumped within like a no second. No way! Of each other. <laughs> wow! It's an amazing video. If you go to the um, Fleetcom Discord and you just look up the videos for the for the um, mass jumps that they had. The, the the ones that the French did on their local server was wow. amazing. Tu peux traduire? They also, yeah, it's on it's on the Discord fleet com. Um, under the Distant Worlds two videos, and someone made a montage of it too. That was pretty good. Tu peux um, traduire? J'ai pas tout tout compris. Tu disais il y a un was, français? It was actually mentioned on the Elite Dangerous um. When they were doing their coverage of it, and Polygon had it too. Yeah, wow. Uh, they got together too, and they did this flight demo where they're all flying in synchronous around the planet, and they're all banking and rotating. You know, like the uh, 
the Blue Angels do? Yeah, exactly. They were all flying in unison in formation and doing these amazing things. I was actually talking about that with people like this is the next thing in the lead what not many people are doing these types of uh, maneuvers and air shows and blasting off uh, the fireworks I think this is yep. really gonna pick up because that's like the new progression level yep yep well yeah, I also fully agree with that like during distant worlds 2 I um, flew with a commander from uh, France maybe the guys know him Maskeen and uh, the yes. guy yeah that guy that dude had the one after the other like uh, winning photo of the week and stuff like that yes. I was like so amazed about this guy and he's still going he's an artist yeah he's got the eye no matter how hard I try to take a good picture like I look at the other uh, pictures that some of these guys make and it just blows me away <laughs> <laughs> I, I not on, I, we are not understand uh, the French guy you, you say in French maybe Why? Maskim, Maskim, S S A. C'est pas de la Galaxy Express, lui. Sur on, euh, yeah. sur la. Ouais. Maskim, it's a, the guy. It's a, a French French team, uh, Galaxy Express. Um... No, uh, notre, notre team, en fait. Maskim. Yeah, he's C'est like... un explorateur. C'est un explorateur de chez nous. On fait souvent les, les photos ensemble et les vidéos. Et euh, je crois que c'est lui aussi. On en a un aussi chez nous qui a fait un record. Euh, il a mis une vidéo sur YouTube. Il a fait record en, en une heure. Euh, la bulle euh, Sagittarius, je crois. Non, la bulle Colonia. Une heure. Yeah, we were just admiring uh, his. Uh, Mais Maskimek, c'est Maskimek qui s'appelle M A S K I M E C, et yeah. il fait partie du squadron Galaxy Express. Is that the name of their group, Galaxy Express? Yes, this is the uh, the, the squadron in the top uh, top ten of um, of the the, the, the Galaxy dangerous. Express. Yeah. Yes, of the dangerous. In a PS4, super. Uh, we are uh, number two to in exploration. Oh uh, wow! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We are look look on uh, on your your board. Your 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 left uh, your right your right board. Yeah, of the course. Team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the squadron uh, board. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the squadron name. You see Galaxy Express. It's it's uh, my team, uh, Valley Valker and the uh, Crazy Gamer team. <laughs> <laughs> right. Active, so, very active. Yeah. We have uh, maybe I don't know uh, three or four systems. Allegiance. Yeah, and uh, your home system is uh, Brishasta, I thought, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah, that's why I also have there a few ships parked. Very close to Shinrata, no gankers, nothing there, just peaceful. Oh, thanks. It's a big, big, big community, uh, Galaxy Express. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In PS, five five hundred, five hundred uh, uh, player. Wow, it's hard to get a um, it's hard to get a like they had over thirty people in their mass jump on PC, and it's hard to you know get that many people into the same instance unless everybody's like in a uh, kind of yeah. more local uh, yeah, server and true. Captain Asgard in a PC game in PC uh, make a good mass jump. Yeah, it's yeah. a Belgium uh, captain. He have a big community and uh, he make a beautiful uh, video. He have make a, a mass jump where maybe 
Then uh, 20, 20 uh, ship. Oh, that's still uh, very impressive as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's very impressive. Uh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I should. It was commented by many in the community, all over <laughs> the world. Wow. Yeah, I would like this. Now it's funny because um, all crows of black tried really hard to wrangle us, but it was kind of like herding cats. Um, and every one of our mass jump attempts, somebody always like boosted ahead accidentally. <laughs> uh. I was one of them. I was one of them, one of the guys on the first one. I boosted ahead, and then unfortunately on our return journey home, um, we were all set up to do a mass jump, and someone behind me boosted, and. Mm -hmm. Blew up my ship. <laughs> no. So I made a quick journey home by just cashing out at the uh, Anchorage Express and then flying back from there. Oh man. Oh, buddy. But I didn't need all the data and stuff. I was already um, elite um, exploration and I was actually wanting to work on my. Elite trader and elite fighter, um, which I did. I did when I got back. I got my elite trader and then I got my elite um, right at the end of uh, the Witch Head Nebula. Yeah. When they were doing the the final battles before they like kind of stopped all that, <laughs> I was able to do the scout missions enough to get up to my uh, elite dangerous. Oh, nice. And then I got my triple E. I was just fortunate enough where I couldn't get the last couple missions because they were gone. So I got a compromised nav beacon that I actually finished it on. Just like <laughs> my last 2%. And that 2% was about 200 ships I had to blow up. Wow, 200 ships. No way. Yeah. So you got to go from like 15 to 12 to 1500 ships you have to blow up that are elite to like 2500 ships that you have to blow up. Wow. To finish off your elite dangerous. Yeah, I have to say I'm just taking it easy. I'm master at the moment, but um, yeah, my heart goes really out to you know doing support operations or just exploring um, and fighting. Yeah. It, I I, I'm, I do it when I'm back in the bubble, but it's never that much of a priority. Yep. Yep. Alrighty. Um, I can't find any good landing sites in this. I'm trying to find like something that's geological rather than coordinate based. But I gotta get going pretty soon. Um, yeah. No worries. No worries. This I mean, was cool. Um, Thanks for waiting for me. <laughs> yeah. We would have waited half an hour longer if you were uh, still jumping. We just had a, a winter storm today that I um, overnight dumped a whole bunch of snow and I needed to clear out the driveway this morning. So I didn't finish my last 50 jumps. Jumping has been hard for me this week uh, because of the stuttering. It's really... Yeah, um, it's something, right? It's Yeah, it's been... It, it kind of tweaks me out a little bit. Um... Luckily. Yep, there's an update tomorrow. Hopefully they'll fix it. Uh, I couldn't even play for very long Saturday because some bug broke the whole Elite Dangerous system. Oof. On est combien là maintenant? Là, tout le monde est parti là? Oui. Il reste quel... il reste plus personne dans l'instance. In the instance, how many person? Um, I'm not sure. I think two or three. <clears throat> Ah yes, three. <laughs> Vali, me, and uh, Valker, and you. <laughs> well, guys, go. Yeah, I think uh, most jump. I jumped the system. Yes, uh, maybe. And I see other commanders are also. Yeah, I see you three sixty light years away. I see another commander yeah. forty light years away. Uh, yeah, so scattered a bit. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. Uh, and fly safe on a good explore. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> good evening. See you to the next waypoint. À la prochaine. See you guys. Yes. Looking forward to it. And uh, Derek, good job. Good job taking over. I appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. À la semaine prochaine. To next week's.
Bye. Bye. Bon, bah c'était sympa maintenant, on va reprendre notre exploration. Bah ouais. Bah ouais, ils font leur expo de leur côté. Bon, on pourra les rejoindre de temps en temps vu qu'on les a en amis maintenant. Ah bah oui, de toute façon maintenant tu les vois sur la carte. Ouais. Seven, everybody, and I'm back. So, um, in short, that was the uh, meetup with uh, the Orion Expedition, the PS4 fleet, <clears throat> and uh, that was Waypoint 2 we visited. So, our journey towards Waypoint 3 has started, and um, yeah, for me, it's uh, it's a bit of a uh, normal as. No, it has been a bit. It's a bit of a different situation as normal because I joined this expedition while it was already on the on the way. So these uh, commanders have been already jumping for uh, I think almost a week now. And um, so yeah, it was the first time I saw everybody. It was nice to uh, shortly uh, meet all the uh, PS4 commanders. And I was really positively uh, surprised by the outcome of uh, commanders. So we had, I didn't do any math, but I think we had like a handful of commanders, like five, six, seven, and um, even more maybe. And um, yeah, I'm happy to be on the expedition. So uh, today was a short meet. <clears throat> And uh, I think for the next waypoints, uh, there will be definitely uh, something we could work on. Uh, maybe have a race or a uh, meetup, whatever. We'll uh, we'll see as it, as it, as it progresses. So, what do I have in store for tonight? Um, I wanted to actually be recording a lot and. Uh, But I, I don't know, maybe today is not that day, so I'll kind of keep it short. It's a bit of a physical thing, I don't feel all that too uh, too well, I don't feel really 100%. And uh, my instinct tells me that if I'm gonna pursue recording and talking all night today, then uh, I'll have some headache and troubles in the morning. So yeah, let's talk a bit more about the plan. Um, I'm gonna bring up the galaxy map. And I'm gonna show you guys what I've been working on. So uh, let's zoom out a bit more. As you can see all the way back here, here's the bubble. So the expedition started in the bubble itself. That's that's an important thing to notice because Beetlejuice was waypoint one. So since it's so close to the bubble, it didn't really took commanders a week. From Beetlejuice one, or Beetlejuice, not Beetlejuice one, but from Beetlejuice, the fleet started jumping all the way to waypoint two. So that's where we met up uh, just before all of this. And um, while the fleet was jumping to waypoint 2, I was actually flying out between uh, Colonia and Sagittarius A with a few commanders of Galaxy Express. And um, Maskeen was one of them. And um, then I, at Sagittarius A, I took on the uh, the role that was available as PS4 lead. Um, so I started jumping back, uh, I think, <clears throat> the day after I took on the role. Uh, so while I was jumping, the fleet was jumping, and today we had our meetup. And I was a, I was here at the location, not Beetlejuice, but Waypoint 2. I was here already a few days earlier, so I did some scouting, and uh, I, I gave it a thought about 
okay what's gonna happen so where's waypoint 3 so what I did I started charting all the waypoints so there we go if I zoom out this in short is the Orion expedition leaving from Beetlejuice going to waypoint 2 continuing to waypoint let's see which one is it 3 so that's this one over here and then it continues to waypoint 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 all the way to uh, 15 here at Sagittarius A so for the um, <clears throat> more seasoned explorer he can already see what's going on here uh, basically the expedition travels in a narrow line that's what almost all expeditions do except for dedicated expeditions but here we kind of start to uh, circle the area a bit and then even circle it a bit more and head off towards Sagittarius A um, so this is basically what the Orion expedition is focused at this um, we hope to discover a lot of new things here so having said that I was thinking what am I gonna do from waypoint 2 towards 3 because one thing I don't like is backtracking and I know for the third time since I've been doing explore, exploration across the galaxy I always forget to double check this region and there are Buku codex locations here but I always fly all the way out here and then I realize like if I want to see them I have to backtrack and I don't like backtracking so I'm gonna leave this codex location again for like a fourth or fifth expedition I'm gonna plan later this year uh, and in the meantime I decided not to make the same mistake traveling from 2 to 3 so all the uh, waypoints here on the left have a, like an even not an even number they have like a just a number like one over here and then we have two over here we have three over here uh, in between in between two and three for instance you can see 0 2 dash 0 3 and it repeats a few times the reason why I've done it is simple these are waypoints I want to check between waypoint 2 between waypoint 3 and here you can see waypoint 3 and here you can see waypoint 4 I've done again the same uh, I've continued seeking out using the codex as my primary tool to give me some guidelines so this will be the waypoints between uh, waypoint 3 and waypoint 4 and I will build this list all the way up till we reach Sagittarius A or Stu Maya in this case but obviously we will go uh, with all the ships to Sagittarius A since we're there I cannot imagine commanders not doing that <clears throat> having that said um, again these are pointers um, they're known in the codex so there should be something there uh, but this gives me so for instance let me target now this first one um, it's targeted so it doesn't want to plot how can we correct this we can maybe go just like this so I've now plotted a route to the first point of interest in my uh, in my case let's call it uh, point of interest um, <clears throat> this location I will reach it the system in let's do the math in approximately 100 jumps so I now have 100 jumps to uh, see what's out there explore and maybe find crumbs of a new pattern or a new trail I can follow or whatever but whatever happens basically I won't lose my heading I won't lose my objectives and I'll be steadily checking out waypoints systems uh, codex locations along this journey and uh, let's hope that I will also find something between those waypoints but that is obviously not up to me 
So for now, commanders, uh, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed seeing this video. I definitely had an hour of fun with the uh, guys at the uh, PS4 fleet of the Orion Expedition. Um, it definitely uh, helps me to stay motivated in exploration to uh, check on Discord what uh, the commanders have been uh, ex discovering, exploring, what kind of uh, pictures and videos they've been taking. So uh, yeah, happy to be on board and uh, as soon as I jump into a system and it's interesting and it's nice, I'll put on my headphones, I'll be recording it and uh, I'll be sharing it here. So for now, 07 commanders, fly safe. Flight assist off. Okay, uh, I'm back commanders and uh, look at this. So first I'm just gonna show it to you. It appears to be a, a gas giant with a double ring. And let's zoom in a bit. 
so there we are it's a gas giant indeed I can see it visually and it has like a uh, small probably icy ring so next to that giant are a few bright lights so those are terrestrial bodies some of them should be landable and then on the outside we have this beautiful multicolored ring wow so I thought I'll just bring you in guys let's have a look what this is all about oh yeah you might also appreciate to know what system this is in so we are now a few jumps from the uh, waypoint 2 location of the Orion expedition I just had like a hour and a half ago the mass jump and this system let's go to it it's fly is yeah I cannot even pronounce that so um, I hope you guys can read it off screen I'm a bit too tired today to uh, try and pronounce that so I've just been to this uh, 1.22 G body uh, it's at a distance of 7.70 light seconds from the main star so that was a uh, nice place to set the ship down let the iridescent paint, paint scheme do its work I took a few shots there and um, then I decided to check out 4A um, mainly because of its service features so I thought maybe in real life it looks a bit more aggressive who knows and I thought the same about 4B uh, what's also interesting about this body it's only 462 kilometers in radius so it's a small potato world and uh, I thought as well like maybe the uh, service features could be more extreme than uh, shown in the system map so I, yeah, I thought let's travel to this gas giant and as we look at it from the system map it's impossible to tell um, how its rings will be looking so that's why I'm glad I actually went out and uh, traveled towards it because yeah again let's just have a look at it beautiful beautiful ring on the outside really some light years away from the gas giant some um, terrestrial bodies over there and uh, the gas giant itself in the middle so I think I'll uh, head out to 4A first according to plan we'll uh, give it a uh, service map and uh, we'll do a flyby we'll see how the uh, service features are in real life well in real life outside of the uh, system map so yeah I'm taking it easy today I'm not feeling all that too well and nothing serious though it's just a bit of a headache and maybe lack of oxygen in the house I don't know so I'm just taking it easy trying to not you know further aggravate the headache that's already there um, so I decided to keep it easy for today's uh, mass jump I think that also contributed to uh, the fact that my headache just spun a bit out of control look at this almost always these terrestrial bodies are just outside the ring uh, more often than they are you know closer to the gas giant it, it's it, it happens it's not it's not a uh, uncommon occurrence but still the ratio is so much more towards just outside of the rings 
and yeah often you kind of already know what kind of view you'll be getting so you start skipping on these uh, gas giants all right let's have a look at the system features well the the features of this body not the system well, okay I've seen I've seen more like these it's beautiful in its own way but I wouldn't say it's, it's unique or really special surface scan by 50% surface scan complete yeah I figure it's beautiful when you're there visiting a geolocation but uh Today's jump actually featured a ice world, so I'm already uh, filled up on the need to visit these ice worlds. So I'll quickly uh, travel along B. Alright, so this one, two probes as well. Surface scanned by 50%. Surface scan complete. This one is not that very exclusive as well. Maybe its size kind of makes it more interesting. However, still. Ooh, I saw something interesting. Let's turn the ship around. Yeah, it's just a small piece of the. Uh, I'm not sure if. It's the pole of the body, but um, I, I would say this is the more interesting side of it. Let's do a external cam. Yeah, it's still not that extreme as I had in mind. So, but still, 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 nice to have seen them. At least I won't be doubting about them anymore, so I'm happy I just flew out here. Cool. So, select next waypoint in route. 
turn the ship around and let's charge our FSD. Alright, if I come across something interesting, I'll make sure to bring you back again.
so commanders I've been uh, jumping for a while now and I thought it might be a nice idea to check out where the rest of the fleet is so by the looks of it it's gonna be a short check looks like everybody's uh, finished for today and is preparing for a uh, working day tomorrow yes so waypoint 2 and there's waypoint 3 uh, no waypoint 3 is here yeah this is waypoint 3 so I'm currently jumping all the way out to my first um, system of interest it's a codex location so I know guaranteed I will find something there and my desire is to along the way to discover new things um, and so far uh, I haven't really done the math but um, I did quite a number of jumps and I didn't use any filter and I made some beautiful screenshots I visited some nice locations but not something really scientifically uh, interesting like my previous selection of OBA stars was uh, yeah, wielding in quite some results systems undiscovered with bio signatures on them uh, so things like that I definitely uh, find interesting to pursue um, currently I except for beautiful screenshots I haven't found really uh, anything noteworthy so I've decided to now switch again to a filtered selection and if I'm correct yeah my root plotter is replotting so he's adapting the root uh, to my selections of stars and I will include the F and the G type and this includes white dwarfs so now it's gonna run again and that will be my yeah selected or filtered route towards uh, my first system of interest um, I also think I'm not gonna make it uh, too long for today so I'm gonna wrap it up uh, get editing for you guys and make this uh, come online so for all of you to see and um, yeah I'll be back uh, upcoming week I'll be jumping uh, during the week and uh, evening so I'll be definitely uh, recording and keeping track of the Orion expedition so we had waypoint 2 today the mass jump um, nice very nice to have met the guys there we jumped with I think five six seven or eight ships I I haven't done the math and um, it's a lovely bunch of commanders uh, we've got some French people from Galax we have I believe some people over from um, this world's two veterans and I maybe maybe somebody from IPX not sure but um, it's a lovely bunch yeah looking forward uh, to be doing uh, the rest of all the waypoints with the with the commanders so enough for now hope you all have a good day evening morning and uh, see you soon commanders 07